Are you looking for the best cell phone signal booster? In this video, we will break down the top signal boosters on the market. Before we get started with our video detailing the best cell phone signal boosters, we have included links in the description for each product mentioned, so make sure you check those out. Starting off at number 1, we have the WeBoost Connect 4GX. If you are living in a rural area and got tired of trying different signal boosters, then you are absolutely going to love this. The WeBoost Connect 4G works great in rural areas. In most of the rural areas, the only way to get a hold of an internet connection is to either get a satellite connection or go for a cell phone provider. Satellite connection is expensive and would require lots of maintenance. A cell phone provider on the other hand is cheap and easy to get, but would usually catch weak signals. In that condition, WeBoost 4GX comes as the ultimate solution. The booster comes with a range of around 7,500 square feet, which would be more than enough. However, before installing your booster, you need to go make sure you are installing it at a point that has the strongest connection. To be sure about that, try installing it at various points in the house. If you have ever used any signal boosters in the past, then you must have faced the problem of battery drainage. It's true that signal boosters consume some part of the battery, and the same happens with WeBoost Connect 4GX, but as compared to other signal boosters, the drainage with Connect 4GX is quite less. WeBoost Connect 4G also comes with auto gain technology that automatically balances the signal strength inside the home when the signals outside are too strong. Most of the other signal boosters will completely shut down in these situations and will end up providing no signal whatsoever. The indoor antenna could be improved to a further extent. It works great for short range, but once you start going far away from the antenna, the signals start getting weaker. In short, the antenna doesn't perform well with concrete walls or any blockage. At number 2, we have the SureCall Flare Signal Booster. The SureCall Signal Booster comes with manual gain adjustments so that you can switch between 4G and 3G for better data transfers. The booster also comes with LED indicators on top that are really helpful in knowing what's actually going on with the signals. As similar to WeBoost 4G, the SureCall Flare is also a very powerful signal booster. It not only just improves the cellular signals, but also makes sure that your battery is not drained out as much as compared to other signal boosters. With full signals on board, you can easily get a range of around 2,500 square feet. Technically, that would cover one to two rooms fully. The booster is compatible with both 3G and LTE networks, and will work with all the cellular networks in North America, including Sprint, AT&T, Verizon, T-Mobile, etc. The one thing that we found quite different from other cell phone signal boosters is the overall design. The SureCall Flare comes in a unique triangular shaped design, in silver colors with beautiful engraved spiral lines on top. At number three, we have the HiBoost 10K Signal Booster. HiBoost might be a new brand in North America, but is a very popular brand in Asia, Europe, and other parts of the world. It specializes in creating cell phone signal boosters for both small and large home and offices, and also for cars, trucks, and RVs. HiBoost 10K comes with a range of 10,000 square feet. HiBoost has some other boosters in the market that come at a range of 5,000 square feet, 2,500 square feet, and some even go up to 15,000 square feet, which is absolutely insane. HiBoost 10K is built of a highly durable material and is compatible with all cell phone signal providers in the United States and Canada. The booster comes with a signal repeater kit that has everything needed for a successful installation. Kit includes a user manual, installation guide, 6-foot cable, DC power adapter, and some other accessories. HiBoost 10K also comes with smart auto and manual gain adjustment functions. With AGC, the signal gain is controlled automatically depending upon the strength of the input signal. With MGC, you get the option to control the signals manually. To check the signal strengths, you can have a look at the indicators on the top. At number 4, we have the Amaze Boost. Starting with the appearance, this signal booster is classic and unassuming. All of the parts and accessories are white, and the main body of the device is rectangular in shape. So if you're looking for a uniquely shaped booster, you're out of luck with this one. However, in terms of ease of use, functionality, and durability, the Amaze Boost stands up to more expensive models with no trouble at all. When setting up the device, we were pleased by how easy the instructions were to understand. The device was mounted and set up within a matter of 10 minutes or so. According to the specifications, the booster works with all American carriers. For the purpose of our test, we used a Verizon connected device, a laptop, and a tablet with the purpose of not only testing the functionality of the device, but also its claim that multiple devices can be connected and boosted simultaneously. To add a bit of background information, we set up the antennas inside and outside of our office building, which, on a good day, is lucky to receive one or two bars. Most of the time, conversations are short and sweet, because somewhere throughout the conversation the service cuts out. The goal of using this booster was to be able to hold a full, 3 minute conversation without having to go outside or call the person back. Once the antennas were correctly positioned and our devices connected, we made our first call. Thankfully, the booster passed the test. We had a 3 minute and 40 second conversation with no disruptions. 
Upon using the device more though, we noticed that the position of the antennas would sometimes seem to change marginally. These small changes were enough to mess up our signals, and we required to adjust the antennas once or twice to regain adequate signal. Although this wasn't a big issue for us, it could be a problem for someone with limited mobility, as the antennas need to be mounted. The only other problem we had was that the 30-foot RG6 cable was kind of bulky, as any cord that long is. One major benefit of the booster, aside from the obvious signal boost, was that the battery life of our connected device was increased. This, we suspect, is mostly due to how much less time is spent with our device searching for a signal. Our smartphone got an extra two hours of battery life when used minimally and left on standby. It's hard to say how much longer the battery would have survived if we had been using the phone as much as we would on a daily basis. And for our final pick at number five, we have the solid RF cell phone booster. White like the Amaze Boost model, there isn't a ton to say about the visual part of this device. It didn't strike us as particularly unique or appealing. In fact, it looks virtually the same as the Amaze Boost we tried out before, so we had to double check to make sure we didn't mix up any parts. With one bar outside at the time of setup and no bars inside, we were excited to give another signal booster a try. Opening the package, the kit contained everything necessary for mounting and use. Antennas, RG6 coax cable, AC power, screws, and mounting supplies. Since we are in the United States, we were able to simply plug and play with the booster, which was a major plus. Anyone outside of the United States, we learned, would need to register the device before using it. Instead of aimlessly searching for the tower, we downloaded an app to get the job done. We also decided to just try the connection with the smartphone and laptop. As per usual, we had to mount both antennas, one inside and one out, with the inside antenna pointing in the opposite direction and pointed at a lower elevation. Once we found the correct spot, we stepped back to let the booster do its work. Expecting to have to go adjust the position, we were shocked that we didn't have to. The antennas held their position flawlessly, earning a big thumbs up from us in the ease of use category. We did notice, however, that according to the LED console monitor, the inside signal wasn't as strong as the outside one. Regardless though, the signal was stable, and visitors who stopped by using different carriers benefited from faster download speeds. We left the device up for a few days, and one of the most prominent things we noticed was, as our guests commented, the increased speed of downloads. We were able to stream Netflix and movies from various online sources without constant buffing and disruptions. Our calls were also better, of course, with the sound being crystal clear, and the call duration meeting our goal of 3 minutes. So that sums up our top cell phone signal boosters. We hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like on the video, and if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have a great day.